I'm proud of who I am, proud of my heritage, my sense of identity. What has made me? Who has been a part of what I have become? The context I live within. If I'm not proud of who I am, am I embarrassed? My community, my friends, my family, my culture all have had an impact, been part of the building blocks of me. And also through communities that I am not immediately connected to, but through I have learned. My enemies have had an impact on me. Others, families, other cultures have all been a part of making me, me. So, I'm inextricably linked to so many around me. I do not live in social isolation. I am dependent for who I am on others, known and unknown. So although I am proud of who I am, I did not make who I am alone. I am responsible for who I have become, but I cannot take all the credit. Take a little of the credit, of course, because credit is not often given. But it hasn't all been about you. You have been created by your context and your non-context, and you are a part of that. It doesn't make you any better than anyone else. It doesn't make you any worse than anyone else. You are simply who you are. So, on a day of national pride, like St George's Day, or an international sporting occasion, how should we respond? We celebrate the occasion for what it is, not making us or others better, but simply rejoicing in what is. Friendly rivalry and competition. Not putting others down, not elevating ourselves, but recognising all on an equal footing. Celebrating our differences and supporting that which unites us. The I in unites is important. Because if we don't reflect correctly our context, our place in our context, and we elevate ourselves or put others down, then we've got the I in the wrong position and everything unties rather than unites. So go out there, rejoice, celebrate, shout, sing, at the end of the day, we're all united in a common value.